Sticking with the tight end position, you're just looking for someone that has the ability to have a few catches and maybe wind up in the end zone. That's exactly what David Njoku did in a blowout loss against the Chargers this past Sunday. Without Rashad Higgins in the lineup and obviously Josh Gordon in New England, Njoku kind of took the next step a lot of us were hoping for. Yeah, and they're just there are a lot of bodies gone right now in Cleveland. You mentioned Josh Gordon, Rashard Higgins. They also lost Derek Willies, who looked good in their overtime game last week. He broke his collarbone in practice on Friday. Uh, and then Rod Streeter broke his neck in their game. It's not as bad as it sounds, but like it's still a broken neck at the end of the day. So like and Antonio Callaway's been arguably the worst wide receiver in football this year. So someone needs to catch the football. And it kind of seems like Baker Mayfield is trusting David and Joku to, to do exactly that that over the three games that Baker Mayfield has started and Joku has 23% of the team's targets. And that is despite not really having a huge role in their game against Oakland when Mayfield made his first start. So 23% for a tight end is a good number, but it also comes with some juice because Baker Mayfield will go downfield and then Joku does get some of those deep targets. And as we saw on Sunday, he can convert when you throw to him in the red zone. You got a an end zone touchdown there as well. So I think a lot of things line up for Njoku whose price is still down low at $5,700. He is facing Tampa Bay. That's a good matchup, too. So I kind of think that Njoku is still just too cheap. He's had double-digit targets in back-to-back -back games, and I think that is enough to make him a cash game play against this Tampa Bay defense. Yes, there are reasons to be worried about this offense as a whole. We'll talk about Baker Mayfield in the stock down section, but I do think that with the targets Njoku is getting, he is becoming a safer tight end we can trust for season long and a guy we can trust in cash games at, at a really rough position. As you said, a really rough position. That's why, again, it's all dart throw. It's all dart throws. Just try to get the best dart throw and, and land that bullseye. Sorry for the cliche. That, that was terrible. 